Jeff Bezos, copycat. Bill Gates, founder of the pandemic. Mark Zuckerberg, possibly a lizard, but we aren't sure. Walton family, parasites. Donald Trump, very orange. Elon Musk, however, the great almighty. But why? Generally, there's two camps of people. One camp believes that everyone who exceeds a certain amount of wealth is inherently evil to some extent, as they argue that it is impossible for an individual to accumulate such massive wealth without at least a few questionable decisions down the line. Conversely, the other camp does agree that billionaires generally have negative aspects about them. However, they believe that the pros brought on by these billionaires as well as their companies far outweigh their cons. Personally, I'm part of the second camp as I strongly believe that the value offered by Google and Facebook and Apple are far greater than the privacy concerns and security threats that they may pose. But then again, these three companies are basically my life, so this may be radically different for you. However, in this video, I'm not concerned about the pro-billionaire versus anti-billionaire argument as there's an even more interesting third camp. The individuals in this camp believe orange man is bad and that the lizards are spying on us. But Elon Musk though gets the green flag. This notion has been especially evident in the comments of some of my most recent videos. For instance, when I pointed out that Elon Musk receives billions of dollars per year but likely pays little taxes, we received two types of comments. First, we received comments suggesting that Elon Musk only receives stock compensation if he meets growth targets, and this is absolutely true. But isn't this the same case with nearly every other billionaire CEO as well? Whether Sundar Pichai or Tim Cook, they have to deliver on quarter on quarter growth and year on year growth if they want to cash in on the big incentives. Aside from this, we had several comments pointing out that Elon Musk not paying taxes is not his fault, as it's not him who's writing the tax laws. But then, why is it wrong if Amazon pays no taxes, or if Donald Trump pays no taxes? I'm sure that they have hundreds if not thousands of financial accountants, ensuring that though their tax returns might be sketchy, they're not illegal. When these individuals don't pay their taxes, the situation is often painted as these greedy pigs not owning up to their economic responsibility, as opposed to, it's not their fault, it's the government. So what's the psychology behind only liking Elon Musk in terms of billionaires? Well, the first point that came to mind was the impact of their work. Elon Musk is no doubt one of the most innovative thinkers on planet Earth, and is often argued to be the most important person alive by many experts. But while this is definitely true, it is not the impact of his work per se that causes individuals to view Elon Musk favorably. If this was the case, then Bill Gates would have a much more positive social image. Bill Gates has donated $50 billion to charity since 1994, and he has been a massive help in vaccinating Africa. With his help, several African countries were actually able to surpass vaccination rates of North America over 5 years ago. Of course, this is aided by anti-vaxxers within North America. But near 100% vaccination rates are no question very, very good. With that being said, I would actually argue that this is more important than Elon Musk's work. According to the World Health Organization, a child dies from malaria every 2 minutes. As a result, I believe that it's much more important to create and spread vaccinations for terrible diseases like malaria and measles to prevent tens of thousands of children from dying on a regular basis in comparison to slowing down the effects of climate change or colonizing Mars. Don't get me wrong here, all of these issues are very important for long-term sustainability. But I do think short-term threats take priority over long-term threats. Moreover, if we take a look at long-term threats, Jeff Bezos is also aiming to positively impact climate change and air pollution using his rocket company Blue Origin, which was actually founded before SpaceX. So, considering Bill Gates and Jeff Bezos' lackluster public images, despite their great contributions, it's clear that it's not the impact of the work itself that's the most important. 
Moving on, the second reason that comes to mind when attempting to explain a person's support for an individual, we have personal gain. Donald Trump says crazy crap, but many of his supporters will back him to their deaths as they believe that he is the key to them getting their jobs back or that he is the only barrier between them and socialist Bernie, etc. However, this is really not the case with Elon Musk either as most of his work is addressing long-term issues. Again, this is not to say that his work is not useful by any means, but rather that most of the perks of his work won't come till decades in the future. For instance, if you have a toilet that's not working, you're likely going to go onto Google or YouTube and look up some tutorials. And if you need a special part or tool that's not available at nearby hardware stores, you'll likely order this at products with Amazon Prime. Clearly, the services offered by the evil billionaires are actually much more useful for day-to-day -day use cases as opposed to colonizing Mars. This means that it is also not immediate personal gain that has gotten so many people rallied around Elon Musk. But then, what is it? Well, I believe that the first major reason Elon Musk is so cherished is the nobility of his work. Though Elon Musk is not the only billionaire engaged in great social causes, he is the only one who has derived the vast majority of his wealth from said causes. Elon Musk did have Zip2 and PayPal in his early days, but the payouts from these endeavors account for well below 1% of his net worth today. For individuals like Jeff Bezos and Bill Gates, these percentages are often the other way around. Bill Gates did donate $50 billion, which can never be twisted into a bad thing as this requires a massive heart and is simply extraordinary philanthropy. But at the same time, it should be noted that Bill Gates made even more money during the same time period. Similarly, though Jeff Bezos is sinking billions of dollars per year into improving space exploration and colonization, this is just a mere percentage of his wealth. First of all, I would like to say that neither of these guys are obliged to give away any of their wealth and any wealth they do donate or invest into future industries is commendable. The reason I bring up these points is because Elon Musk slightly beats out these guys in this realm. For Bill Gates and Jeff Bezos, giving away billions of dollars today doesn't affect their overall financial state or well-being. Again, this does not take away from the weight of their philanthropic work. However, Elon Musk has risked everything he has several times to try to push forward EV and space technology. As a result, though other billionaires have also made large contributions, Elon Musk may be perceived as having more noble intentions as his businesses themselves were centered on improving society and this is where he derived his wealth from. On the flip side, other billionaires generally built their businesses in other industries first and made most of their money there and then later they focused on giving back. Moving on, the next major reason I believe people prefer Elon to other billionaires is because he is the only one at the top who is not known for their immense amounts of wealth. Jeff Bezos has been the CEO of Amazon since the very beginning in 1994 and Amazon has made him very rich throughout the years. In fact, Jeff Bezos was worth $7.8 billion way back in 1999 and he was the 18th richest person in the world way back then. He would fluctuate up and down over the years, but he would remain within the top 50 for the most part. Moreover, Amazon was quite large back then as well, but the average person didn't know Jeff Bezos. Even in 2015, Jeff Bezos was the number 4 richest person in the world with $47 billion. But people still didn't really care. Within the next 2-3 to three years however, he jumps from 4 to 1 and nearly quadruples his wealth. And now everyone knows him because all the headlines are Amazon CEO takes over Bill Gates as the richest person in the world. To this day, I don't think the average person would be able to name the CEO of Amazon. However, what the average person does know is Amazon's monopoly, Amazon has seemingly bad working conditions, Amazon doesn't pay taxes, and through all of this, Amazon CEO is the richest person in the world. Thus, Amazon CEO equals bad. Similarly, 
Bill Gates is known for dominating the billionaires list for decades upon decades. And Mark Zuckerberg is the one who hit it big in his early 20s, becoming the world's youngest billionaire at the time. And of course, we have Warren Buffett, the Oracle of Omaha, and there's Donald Trump, who was so rich that he could get a million dollar loan from his dad and call it small. As you can see, everyone else at the top that are well known are well known because they're rich, not because they're innovative, hardworking, or positive people. Jeff Bezos has brought this up several times actually, pointing out that his fame is simply because of his wealth. He has pointed out that he'd rather be seen as inventor Jeff Bezos or father Jeff Bezos, but rather he's seen as the richest person in the world Jeff Bezos. Conversely, the average person doesn't know Elon Musk for his wealth. The first thing that comes to mind when it comes to Elon Musk is not his massive fortune, but rather rockets and clean energy and electric vehicles. And I believe that these are the two main reasons that Elon Musk is viewed so favorably. His wealth gains are seen as originating from noble projects, and his clout is not derived from his wealth itself, but rather his contributions, unlike his fellow billionaires. Why do you guys think Elon Musk is so beloved, unlike his colleagues? Comment that down below. Also, consider joining our community discord to suggest future video ideas, and drop a like if you guys love Elon Musk. And of course, consider subscribing to see more questions logically answered. But until then, I'm Hari, and I'll see you guys on the next one.